Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about antiderivatives. In problem number 29, I want to determine the indefinite integral, integral of 3x to the 1 3rd plus 4x to the negative 1 3rd plus 6. So when I take an antiderivative of something like this, I just want to take the antiderivative of each of these terms separately. And each of these terms I can use kind of the reverse of the power rule for differentiation to get my antiderivative. So what I want to do is on each of these, since I have x to a power, I want to add 1 to the power and then divide by the new power, whatever the new power is. So if I want to take this antiderivative, then I want to take the antiderivative first of 3x to the 1 3rd. So 3 is a constant, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Then I get the antiderivative of x to the 1 3rd. Well, I want to add 1 to the power of x. So it's x to the 1 3rd, so I add 1. 1 3rd plus 1 is 4 thirds, so I get x to the 4 thirds. And then I want to divide the whole thing by the new power. Okay, and the new power is 4 thirds, so I divide by 4 thirds. Okay, uh, for the second term, the 4 is constant, so I'll just leave it there. And then I have x to the negative 1 third. So I want to add 1 to the power. Right now the power is minus a third, so if I add 1 to negative 1 third, I get positive 2 thirds. So it's x to the 2 thirds, and then I divide by 2 thirds. Finally, I have 6. Now 6 could also be thought of as 6 times x to the 0 power. So I add 1 to the 0 power, giving me 6 is the constant times x to the first, divided by 1 if you like, but divided by 1 doesn't really change anything. So I just get 6x, and then I need to remember that at the end I need to add on c, or my constant of integration. Okay, now let's simplify this a little bit. If I divide something by 4 thirds, it's the same as multiplying it by 3 fourths. So I get 9 fourths x to the 4 thirds. If I divide something by 2 thirds, it's the same as multiplying by 3 halves, so I get plus 12 halves. Now, 12 halves is the same as 6x to the 2 thirds plus 6x plus c. And I get my antiderivative. 